we present a generic framework for exploring small multiples through interactive visual piling and a toolkit called PilingJS to streamline the implementation of web-based piling interfaces. Small multiples are a widely used visualization technique to display complex datasets through a series of miniature visualizations that show different facets or subsets of the dataset. Small multiples afford direct visual comparison and are applicable to a wide range of use cases. For instance, on the left we see photos of cars and contacts from Microsoft's Coco dataset. In the middle we have necklace sketches from Google QuickDraw. And on the right we plot area charts of COVID-19 infection rates for regions across the world. However, as the number of small multiples grows, exploration and comparison becomes less effective due to the decreased availability of screen real estate per visualization or extensive navigation for detailed inspection and the increasing efforts for sequential scanning. Moreover, some questions cannot be answered effectively through pairwise sequential comparison. For instance, when browsing the necklace sketches, are the sketches we look at right now representative? And are there reoccurring concepts of a necklace throughout the dataset? To answer these questions, we can employ visual piling, which is a powerful metaphor for spatial organization and exploration of small multiples. Inspired by the act of physically piling paper documents, visual piling describes an interface for interactive spatial grouping of small multiples into piles of partially overlapping items. But how should we go about designing a piling interface given many possible pile encodings? To answer this question, we analyze previous application-specific piling interfaces and define a generic design space. The design space is structured according to the following five analytical tasks that any piling interface should support. Grouping, arrangement, previewing, browsing, and aggregation. To streamline the implementation of piling interfaces, we developed a JavaScript-based library called PilingJS. We built PilingJS around a data-agnostic rendering pipeline and a declarative view specification that avoids having to write low-level code. To get started, we need to provide the data an appropriate renderer and view specification, while PilingJS manages the state and provides interactive grouping arrangements and browsing abilities. Besides images, PilingJS can render SVG elements and matrices out of the box. Custom WebGL programs can additionally be used for dynamic re-rendering, as documented on our website. Using the declarative view specification, we can adjust many aspects of our design space. For instance, here we explore an embedding of movie frames and make use of several pile and item specific properties, such as the border size and color and the randomized item offset and rotation. To avoid having to switch between a code editor and the piling interface for testing different parameters, we additionally provide an accompanying graphical user interface to dynamically parameterize the piling interface during the development. To demonstrate how the piling metaphor enhances the exploration of small multiples, we come back to the necklace sketches. Using PilingJS, we first arrange the sketches according to a UMAP embedding to gain an overview of the entire dataset. The embedding is placing similar sketches close to each other to highlight clusters within the dataset. To stratify the cluster view, we can automatically pile up items that are located within the same grid cell and manually adjust the grouping using the built-in lasso tool. To summarize the piled-up sketches, we are showing an average as the pile cover. This enables us to quickly identify different concepts of a necklace. We can further browse and compare these concepts by looking at piles in isolation and adjusting their arrangement. Visual piles also afford encoding related metadata. For instance, by visualizing the geographical distribution of the sketches, we can see that in South Asia, an open beaded necklace is more commonly drawn than an open pendant necklace. We have applied visual piling to several other use cases to aid exploration of large numbers of small multiples, including examples from machine learning, immunofluorescent microscopy, genomics, and public health. For details, please refer to our paper and go to piling.js.org to explore the examples yourself.